Hi there and welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate the volume of your mold, rectangular molds and then outside uh, molds as well. We're going to use the metric system for this one. I will leave a link up there for the imperial one if you um, are working in imperial sizes. And then after we know the volume of our mold, I'm going to teach you how to calculate how much oil to use in your soap recipe for your specific mold. So let's move over and let me show you how to do it. Okay, the reason why we calculate the volume of our mold is so that we know how much soap butter that we, um, we need to uh, mix up for a specific mold. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways. The first one is going to be to use a ruler and to measure your mold and work it out by, with a um, formula. And the next one is to fill your mold with rice or something and then we're going to use a measuring cup to measure it with. So the first one up is a rectangular mold. You can use this for rectangular molds or square molds. Um, so what you're going to do is we're going to measure the length, we're going to measure the width and then we're going to measure the height. Now we're going to take the inside measurements, not the outside because we need the inside volume here. So we've got 15 centimeters here, then the width is going to be 10 centimeters and then the height is going to depend on how full you want to make your mold. This is about the size of my bar of soap, so I'm not going to fill it all the way up to the top. So I'm going to leave some head space here. Um, now this soap is already cured, so it shrunk a little bit. So if you take it, it's a little bit less than 6 centimeters, but I'm going to work on 6 centimeters because I know after 4 weeks it's going to be about this size. So the height is going to be for me 6 centimeters here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the length that was 15 centimeters times the width that was 10 times the height that we decided on 6 here. So that will give me my volume. So 15 times 10 times 6 is going to give me 900 square, um, cubic centimeters here. So I'm just going to take the 900 and I'm going to make it, I'm just going to switch it over to grams. So if I take 900, um, I need to calculate how much of this volume needs to be oil. Now what we're going to use here is, in the metric system, we're going to use 0 0.7. It's a factor that we're going to use to get to the oil volume, or the oil weight, not the volume. So it's 900 times 0 0.7, and that's going to give you 630 grams of oil that you need to do. Now remember always we're going to weigh our ingredients so we're going to weigh our oil out so it's 630 grams and not 630 milliliters. So this is the amount of oil you need in your recipe to fill this specific mold. Now when we get to um, irregular shapes that's not square that you can't measure or it's not rectangular another easy way that you can do this is, is the second way you're going to take rice water anything that you can get fill your mold with it to the level that you would like to fill your soap butter in here now for me i like to fill it to the tippy top and i pre-measured this so i don't have lots of bags on my table trying to show you here so now i filled my i'm going to take my measuring cup i'm going to pour it back in here and i'm going to take the millimeter mill, oh, sorry milliliter reading on the cup and then I'm going to work from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to take this, I'm going to pour it back into the cup. It's a little bit of static electricity here. Some of them decided to stay there. Just shake it down gently and for this one it's 125 milliliters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the 125 milliliters that I found here and I am going to use the same 0 0.7 factor here for my oil so I'm just going to say times 0 0.7 and that's going to be equal to 87.5 I'm not that clever I'm not working this out of my head I just pre-calculated everything it's just much faster than me struggling with my calculator here. So yeah, then you've got it in grams for one of these little cavities. 
But you must remember, this soap mold got six cavities here. So I'm going to take the 87,5 grams times six because there's six cavities. So the total amount of oil that I'm going to need for this specific mold is 525 grams of oil. Of oil. There we go. So this is the metric system, how you use it, the um, imperial system. You're going to work a little bit differently. So just wait until the end of this video. I will leave a link for the imperial system if you are measuring, um, do your measurements in imperial. So then I will show you exactly how to do it in the imperial system as well. So I hope this helped you quite a lot. Happy soaping until I see you next time.